This is David Bach, and I want to just start by saying thank you so much for voting for me as your favorite financial expert of 2011. It was awesome to be a part of the competition, and I'm thrilled to be here right now. I was asked, David, what do you think is the number one mistake investors make? And I have that answer for you right now. Super simple. The number one mistake that people make is they don't make their financial plan automatic. The number one mistake is to not have your finances automatic. Now, I wrote an entire book on this. It's probably the book that I'm the most well known for. It's called The Automatic Millionaire. And that book teaches you how to put your entire life on autopilot. And a year ago, two years ago, actually, I wrote another book called Start Over, Finish Rich, where I updated the automatic millionaire plan. This book right now, you can go to my website at finishrich.com, put your information in the pop-up box, and you can download this book for free. I'm going to walk you through a chapter in here right now so that you can automate your financial life in less than an hour. So again, number one mistake people make, they don't automate their financial life. Here's what you need to do. The moment you earn money, assuming you've got a job, assuming you have a business, when that money comes in, it needs to go automatically into a bank account. What is unbelievable to me is that in this day and age, many of you, are still getting a physical check, you're taking that check, you're opening it up, you're waiting for it to come to you, you open it up, then you walk it down to the bank, and then you deposit it. By the way, when you do that, you are wasting an average of about 12 hours a year doing that. Ridiculous. You get your money faster if you automatically deposit it. So, you've got to have that money automatically deposited into your bank account. But, before that money hits your bank account, you need to funnel off a piece of it. Somewhere between, I would recommend, at least 10%. But something, a percentage of money has got to come right from your income automatically into your retirement account. Now, that could be an IRA account. That could be your 401k plan. But that's what you have to do. This is called pay yourself first. And folks, if you want to be rich, forget rich. If you just want to have basic financial security, you have to pay yourself first. That means that before you pay the government, before you pay, before you pay taxes, before you pay your bills, before you pay anyone, the first person who gets paid is you. So money comes right off the top from your income into a 401k plan, into an IRA account. Boom, it's done, whatever you choose. Next, that money is going automatically into your bank account. Now, you're going to see here I've got six places that your money then moves to automatically. And here's what they are. The next place your money should move to automatically is an emergency account. Now, I recommend that you have at least 5% of your gross income going into an emergency account. What's this money for? Emergencies. You know, I'm on the Today Show every Wednesday. And we talk about these issues, paying yourself first in your emergency account. How much money do you want in your emergency account? You want at least six months right now of expenses. I would tell you, ideally, you'd like to have closer to 24 months. The only way you're going to get that in savings is if you start funding an emergency account automatically. This account should not have a checking account with it. It should not have an ATM card. It goes into a separate account that you can't touch. All right, that's the third bucket. So first retirement, second bank account, boom, it's going into the emergency account. Now this is all being done automatically. The next place it's going into is a dream account. People go, David, what's a dream account? Super simple. When I was a financial advisor, we set up dream accounts for our clients. That could be buying a home, could be a second home, could be college accounts, could be a vacation account. Whatever it is that you've got a dream, something you want to do, money should be moved automatically from your checking account into another account for those dreams. Really simple. Now you've got credit card bills. Your credit card bills, if you've got a credit card account, these should all be paid automatically from your bank account to your credit card company every month. At a bare minimum, you should be making minimum payments on that account automatically every month. So let me explain this to you. I don't want you to just make minimum payments on your credit card accounts, but what I want you to do is make sure that the bank pays the credit card account the minimum amount automatically every month when? Before it's due. 
People make all kinds of mistakes where they're just out of town, you're busy, something's going on, you miss the, you miss the bill, and you get hit with $30 late fees, or $40 late fees, or $50 late fees. Just doing this one thing could save you hundreds of dollars a year by not having late fees. So minimum payment automatically paid, then you go in and you make the rest of the payments after the minimum payments that you can make. And that takes me to number six, which is regular bills. All of your regular bills should be automated. That could be phone bills, utilities, cable. Go through your bills and go, what is am I getting billed every single month? Why are you still writing checks for those things? In my life, everything is automated. All of my regular bills are automated. Not just personally, but many of my business bills are automated. I still go online and look at them, but this is all automated. And then the last thing is charity the importance of giving back. And you can make automatic contributions to charity every single month. You can do it from your bank account or automatically deduct it onto a credit card. I just did that really quick in like less than probably what, three, four minutes here? Setting this entire system up, guys, takes less than an hour. Less than one hour. You can go online with your bank account, with an online bank account, any major bank, and you can set all this up on bill pay in less than an hour. Want more information? Come back to finishrich.com and again, download this book, Start or Finish Rich, since 2010, still applies right now in 2012. My gift to you, enjoy it. Let me know how you like the video and read the chapter called Automatic Millionaire 2.0 where I go through all this in detail. I am telling you, if you automate your financial life, you will come back to me in a year or two and think, say to me, David, I don't know why I didn't do this before. People who automate their financial life build financial security. If you start at a young enough age, you can become a millionaire. And what I can tell you, I've spent nine years at Morgan Stanley managing hundreds of millions of dollars for individual investors. What I got to see from firsthand experience is that unless it's automatic, it's not getting done. What's automatic gets done. If it requires you to have discipline, requires you to have a budget, you need to write checks every month, you simply won't do it. And the reason is, you're busy. Just like me, you're busy, things happen, we don't stick with a plan, but when it's automatic, it gets done. So, what do you need to do today? Go make it automatic. Have a great day, thanks for tuning in, thank you for voting, and thanks for being part of my community. God bless you, bye-bye.